medical suppression seems to rise proportionate to the rise of medical enlightenment. And as viable treatment options within the integrative health sector continue to expand, you can bet that the heavy hands of suppression, the heavy hands of disinformation, they're going to strangle any dissenting voice. How do they do that? They usually do it through employing uh, a variety of techniques used in what we call dissident suppression. So in 2013, a group funded at the highest levels of the medical industrial complex began a well-orchestrated attack against alternative health at large, but they had an emphasis on several key players within that sector. And at the time, we didn't know who it was. We didn't know why they were doing what they were doing. But in 2016, we retained the services of a counterintelligence security firm, and they've uncovered an elaborate disinformation, I guess you'd call it a conspiracy, against non-conventional treatment alternatives in general and a specific dissident suppression campaign against the BX protocol, against several of its affiliates, uh, as well as some individuals and organizations within the anti-vax movement. The suppression campaign is funded, and this is where it gets interesting, by two of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. We now have in our possession the evidentiary support needed to perfect our claims. Interestingly enough, these are the same companies that that have been given the, the sole monopoly for the manufacture and the sale of drugs. I'm speaking of the international drug cartel, the so-called Big Pharma establishment. So why the BX protocol? Well, keep in mind, I mean, we're just one of several, but there, we may be the lone wolf with regard to the following. Number one, we're developing and manufacturing our, our own highly scientific uh, technologies. We're doing it outside of the mainstream. Uh, number two, we're, we're starting our own university to train our doctors, and we currently have doctor affiliates in 18 of the 24 countries that we operate in. Number three, we're building a medical city in the Caribbean. Number four, our technologies actually work. And in number five, we refuse to pursue drug classification, peer review, or adhere to the, to the unethical double-blind standard. So you don't have to look far to see why we're on the list. Again, we... We know who the people are, we know the organizations involved, we have documentation supporting this knowledge through our sources. Uh, we can tell you that the efforts involve attacks against many people within the integrative health field, we're not the only ones. And, and we're talking about attacks that, that are tactical and strategic in nature, okay? And when I say that we can prove that the attacks happened, that they were precipitated by two large pharmaceutical companies, we have the email records. Okay, the flow of cash supporting the campaign. We know which senators were involved. We know the specific universities involved. And the New York-based media firm that functions as that sort of sort of kingpin in the operation. I mean, we have the social media trails. We have the computer files. The whole nine yards. Now, am I going to name names? No, it's not in our strategic interest to do so at this time. But our enemies can be assured that we have the names. We have the documentation, and I'm talking all the way down to the emails, bank records, and VPN server sites in Luxembourg. And we're presently holding that in trust with our attorneys in multiple law firms as, as a measure of security. Uh, there have been death threats involved in this little campaign of theirs, and I'll, I will not be intimidated. I'm sure that they know that we know, and I think this is probably the only thing that, that's kept us alive, kept me alive. Uh, while my colleagues seem to be dropping like flies. Our strategy uh, ensures survival in perpetuity because they can go ahead and kill me and go ahead and activate our countermeasures and see our cause increase, not decline. So this, this suppression of dissent campaign actually began with the anti-vaccination movement. It's kind of spread out from there. The media firm, this New York-based media firm, they own or, or at least contract with a vast network of forums, websites, you've got blogs, uh, physician and university groups that represent a formidable network of media resources. They're, these are the primary venues that they're using to spread the propaganda. I'm not going to bore you with the unnecessary details. Uh, a legal response in a point-by-point -point rebuttal is available upon our website. Uh, certified legal reviews from our U.S.-based law firm are also available upon request. But there are some things that you need to know. There are some things that you need to be aware of. 
Uh, the organization has supported cyber attacks against the BX protocol, against its researchers, founders, staff affiliates, members, and associates. This is, this is primarily an internet-based operation, but there, there actually are ground assets as well. I'm not going to get into those details too much here. But having a background in intelligence myself, I, I can give you an idea of the sophistication that we're talking about here. I mean, these guys are using agency-grade cryptographic technologies. And anytime you see somebody using fully integrated end-to-end -end security systems, 256-bit SSL encryption or something like a PGP encryption system with multiple VPN networks, uh, you know you're, you're dealing with somebody that's keen on hiding the data that they're passing through the internet. And there are different levels of encryption, obviously, and you can usually tell who you're dealing with by the level of encryption that they're employing. Is it point-to-point? -point uh, tunneling, something like a two-layer tunneling, or is it something like our guys are using, which is a fully, you know, multi-port, military-grade, uh, open VPN system, which I'm sure is meaningless to most of you, but for those of you who are security geeks out there, I'm, I'm sure you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, so this is when you know that you're, you're dealing with somebody that, that, you know, with some serious cash behind their operation.